Vinyl Community, a.k.a. The VC. <clears throat> How's everyone out there? Uh, this is just going to be a short video. I just have a question that I sort of wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, the question is, is everyone out there ready for Record Store Day 2018? And are you going to participate? And if so, what's some of the um, some of the record store day exclusives that you're uh, wanting to get on your list? Um, I don't have the list here in front of me, but I didn't see I didn't see a lot. I mean, there was a two or three that sort of in, intrigued me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but here, let me pull it up real quick. I should have done that before I started this video. Um, and if you're not participating in Record Store Day, uh, what's the reason? I'm just curious. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer here. Because um, sometimes, you know, people participate. Sometimes they don't. Um, depending on a lot of different reasons. Um, let me see if I can find the list here. Well, I know it's on here because I've seen it once before. That's why I should have should have looked it up ahead of time. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, well, I thought one of the things that was sort of strange. Is, uh, which they've done this before, but they're releasing uh, Back in Black ACDC on cassette, um, which they did the Metallica one, I think it was year before last, or maybe a couple years ago. Um, but it was a bootleg, so this one is an official release on cassette. I think that's sort of, sort of interesting. Um, so you have the Alarm, uh, the B-52s, I'm just... Scrolling through the list, I'm not saying every one here. Um, Jeff Beck. Chris Bell, uh, the single, 7-inch, I Am The Cosmos. That That's sort of cool. Um, I don't know if it's something I'd want to pick up or not, but let's see what else we got here. We got uh, a double album by Blue Oyster Call It Rarities, Volume 2. Um, what's this here? We got... Um, Uh, David Bowie, a uh, double album, just entitled David Bowie. I guess that's the first one. Also, uh, Let's Dance, a full-length demo, 12-inch. Um, Eric Burden and the Animals. Let me go on here. Uh, see, there's uh, The Doors. Um, Miles Davis. Like I said, I don't really remember what it was that I was semi-interested in. Because I think there's over 500 releases, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and of course that varies depending on, I'm assuming, what the record store, uh, what they order. Or maybe they just get what they get, depending on um, quantity uh, and maybe where the record store is located. I mean, anyone that <clears throat> works at a record store would probably know that. I don't, I don't really. Uh, and then, let's see, we got a Zeppelin. Uh, it looks like a single here, but it's hard to tell if that's a single. I think it is. Um, so, yeah, I was just curious, you know, um, who's participating? Or you guys, which ones are participating? And what were you looking forward to maybe trying to pick up? Are you planning on getting there really early before the store opens um, and stand in line, you know, to be first in line? Because a lot of the record stores, you know, they have like a um, first come, first serve type of uh, giveaways and stuff, grab bags, if you will. Um, and also, where do you live out there? What record stores are you going to if you participate? And if you're not, 
you know, I'm sort of curious as to why you're not participating. Um, you know, of course, depending on the record store and the time of day and all that stuff, it's going to be busy and there's going to be crowds. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I don't mind crowds too much, but I, I don't want to be, you know, like I'm in a, a Who concert. Um, so I just had a little question there. Anybody wants to leave me a comment about it? Just curious. Uh, we will be going to Record Store Day, at least one, if not two, record stores. We haven't decided uh, if it's going to be two or, or just the one that we usually go to. Um, we'll definitely be going to Everybody's Records in Cincinnati, um, and maybe one more. But that will remain to be seen, and of course we'll be making a video afterwards. When I say we, I mean me and my girlfriend, Kat. Uh, she has a channel called Vintage Owl. Please go to her channel, subscribe. I'm on her videos, um, chiming in from time to time because I don't have anything better to do. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video after Record Store Day, or before.